In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the etching of aluminum. To do this, we're going to need a few things. I have a 12 volt battery charger set up off to the side. Its negative lead comes in here, and its positive I have here. We need a cotton pad of some sort, a pick, we need some nail polish to act as an etch resist. It's a very good water resistant lacquer. We need an aluminum sample piece, this'll do, and we need a uh, vinegar and salt mixture, which I have in that beaker over there. First thing is to uh, take the nail polish and paint some of it to uh, onto the aluminum in the area where we want to do some etching. Get a nice generous coating of it because this is what will prevent areas that we don't want etched from getting etched. Now I need to let that dry thoroughly and then I'll pick up the video again. The nail polish is now dry, so I'll take this sharp little pick and I'll use it to uh, scratch through the nail polish anywhere I want etching to take place. I'll uh, put my design on here and then uh, pick up the video again. Here's my design scratched into the nail polish. Let's etch it. I've hooked the positive clip from the 12 volt battery charger to the workpiece. On the negative clip, I'm using it to grip my cotton pad that I folded up a little bit. To begin etching, turn on the 12 volt battery charger and wet the uh, cotton pad with vinegar and salt. I can now touch the pad to the workpiece. This will begin the etching. The longer I do this for, the deeper of an etch that I'll get. 30 seconds or so would give a light but noticeable etch. A couple of minutes of etching will give you a uh, very deep etch. As the process proceeds, you'll uh, see bubbling and hear hissing. The workpiece may also warm up slightly due to the current flow going through it. Anyway, I'm going to do this for about two more minutes and then I'll pick up the video again. Okay, I etched this for about two minutes, so uh, the piece got somewhat warm, and this is the raw result. I'm now going to wet a rag with the uh, acetone or nail polish remover and clean the piece so we can see how it etched. I've got some acetone on a rag here. Let's wipe this clean of all nail polish. Well, it looks like something happened. Here's the result after just wiping clean with acetone on a rag. It etched very well and quite deeply. Here's a final look at it. I gave it a good rubbing with 180 grit sandpaper. This etching works very well on aluminum. <laughs> 